Last fall, I intentionally did not put down pre-emergent on the grass right here so that I would have poana grass come up in the spring and we could do an experiment. What we're doing today, we are going to test two popular controls for post-emergent poana. So I have certainty here and I have image. So the active in certainty is sulfur sulfuron and the active in image is amazequin. We're going to compare the two. What we're going to do here behind me, we are going to make nine three by three squares and three of, three of them will have certainty, three of them will have image, and three will be a control so we can compare a plot with no herbicide versus certainty, a plot with no herbicide versus image, and compare certainty versus image as well. The control plot's what we do in, in uh, scientific experiments, so that's going to account for environmental variables. So if, if all the plots die, we know that it was something other than the image or the certainty that, that killed it. What we're going to see here is the plots that are our control groups are going to stay green here for the next two or three weeks. So let's go ahead and set up a plot. So all we're going to do with the plots is I'm going to put a little bit of spray paint in the corner right here. I'm going to step off three feet, make another dot, three more feet, make another dot. And that gives us two, so we need one more. We're going to go one, two, three, and now we have three plots. Going this way, now we gotta go this way. We're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that gives us plots going. So we, we, we've got our vertical and horizontal grid set out. Now we just gotta fill in the middle. So with this grid pattern, what we have set up is a random control design. And so my daughter's going to come out here and what we are going to do, we are going to randomly select which plots receive what treatment. So she's got paper already in here. We've got the names of the chemicals in here and she is going to randomly draw for the first plot. If you won't look, just pull one out. C for control. Okay, so put that one. So we're not going to put a flag in. So the blue flags we have are going to mark where the certainty is because certainty has blue lettering. And the green flags are going to mark where the image is because it has green lettering. And then we're not going to put a flag at all in the plots that are controlled. So no, no flag for plot one. Let's move to plot two. Image, so image gets a green flag. So do you want to put the flag in? Just right in the middle, right there. Thank you. Right here? Yep. All right, third plot, no looking. Forget the name. Celsius, or certainty, excuse me. Celsius is another chemical. All right, so certainty is blue. All right, so there's our first two. So let's go down here. This is row, row two. Okay. All right, so if you'll select. Control. It's another control, okay. All right, next is here. Image. Image, which is blue. So image goes here, and then right here, what goes here? Image. Image again. All right. So that means we're going to have a control and two of the certainties down here at the bottom. All right. So the last three plots right here. Control. Control. So that means there's not but two left, right? Yep. So we've got image and we've got image. All right. So there's our plots. So we, we've got it set up now. So here's our plots. We ended up with all the controls right here, which is, is not the end of the world. Sometimes that just happens. Uh, ideally, you'd want them scattered out a little bit further here and there. So this is the green, that's gonna be image. Green here, that's image. Blue, certainty, blue certainty. Green image, blue certainty. And that's our plot. So we're gonna put down the correct chemical in each plot at the recommended rate that the bottle suggests.
So the first product we're going to put out is Image, and we're putting this out. The spot spray recommended rate was to mix at 2.5 ounces per gallon, and you could spray that out, I believe it was 0.8 ounces per thousand, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to spray the green flag plots with Image. All right, there's one. And here's two. I'm trying to do the perimeters first and then just kind of go back and forth on the inside a few times. And our last plot is here. And what I don't want to do is to step in the image and then somewhere else and somewhere else. So notice I just kind of walked straight through here. I'm going to walk around where we have just sprayed. That way we're not doing any cross contamination. Outside of these plots, I'm going to use the rest of this image to empty out the tank. From there, we'll do a triple rinse of my tank. Uh, we'll, we'll run some tank cleaner through it and we'll clean out the wind as well. And then we'll put down our certainty. And so on our blue flags, we are going to do the certainty and I'm gonna go over here to, I washed the bottom of my shoes off in between shots. We've mixed the certainty up at a rate, it's, it's a granular, and you use very small amounts of this. Uh, there's a small spoon that comes with it, and it was one spoonful, and the spoonful was, I believe, 0.18 grams per gallon per thousand square feet was the recommended spot sp uh, spray treatment. I'm gonna use the rest of the image, I mean, excuse me, the rest of the certainty here in my tank on the rest of the yard when I'm done. But here again, I'm just gonna go around the perimeter. We're gonna spray that one. And we're gonna spray this one. And we got this last one right here we need to do, and that's it. Okay, so from here, we're gonna give it about a week. I'm gonna come back with you guys. We're gonna check these plots out and make an assessment. So it's been 13 days since we put out our uh, two products here, our certainty and our image. I wanna show you what it looks like from here. So if you remember, we got our control groups here, one, two, three. The blue flags here are the certainty and the green flags are the image. I'm gonna bring the camera in closer to give you some close up looks. Uh, I can tell that it's working, but this is a very slow process. This is day 13 uh, post spray. I can tell that the control group is a little bit greener, a little more plush than, than what has been sprayed. And so let's get a close up of that so I can show you what it looks like. So these are the control groups. And to me, I don't know if it shows up on film. This is a little bit greener. It definitely has more seed heads. So all of these are the control groups. The seed heads are nice and full and plump. I'm gonna turn the camera to the right. So the green flag here, that was image. You can see this is starting to work. We don't see near as many seed heads. Uh, the vegetation looks a little more yellowish. If we go over here, Look at the certainty, same thing. We, we don't see near as many seed heads. The vegetation is starting to fall over. It looks a little bit yellow. And there's another certainty plot right here. We get the same results. Image plot, same results. And another image plot, same results. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to pull these flags and I'm going to scalp all nine of these plots with the mower. So we've given this poana a little bit of chemical stress. We're starting to see the effects of that. I think if we give it some mechanical stress by scalping it down real low, that should pretty well get rid of the poa that is here in this area. So uh, I'm gonna scalp this down. And we're gonna compare the uh, application groups to the control groups here in about three or four more days. See if there's a difference and hopefully I can share that with you. Okay, so it's been three weeks since we've put in this plot. And so we've, we've got our controls and we've got a, a random combination of uh, certainty plots and a random combination of image plots. And so let's take a look at this. It's, it's been exactly 20 days. So tomorrow about this time would be exactly 21 days or three weeks. So we're almost at three weeks, right at 20 
20 days, give or take. And so if we look at this, uh, the controls right here at the first block as we come up, if you look at the control and then the block right next to it, I think you're gonna see a difference. So in the block group, what I'm seeing is a lot of seed head development. I see a lot of green, which suggests new growth coming out. And if we look at the other plots here, so let's look at the certainty plots, let's look at the image plots. And with the image plots, what I see is after we scalped it, there was no new seed head development. And also the, the leaves are bleaching out a little bit, it looks like. They're, they're more of a grayish, a yellowish, a brownish color. Uh, they've, they've just lost some green pigment to them the same. With the certainty, uh, after we scalped it, I don't see any new seed heads coming up anywhere. But if you were to ask me what works better, certainty or image, uh, I'm not really sure. They, they look in, in all the plots. So there, there's three plots of image and three plots of certainty. And in all the plots that have been sprayed, they look about the same. Now, I, I can see a difference between the control group with no application versus the spray group, but in between certainty and image, in our very small sample size here, I would have to say that they're about equal. It, the POA is dying, but also it's taken a very long time, almost three weeks for this to happen. Plus I came in and scalped over the top. So if you're expecting instant results, like with, uh, if you ever used a 2,4-D product on a broadleaf, like you go out the next day and the leaves are curling under and the stem's getting real leggy, this is not gonna work that way. You're, you're gonna have to wait probably several, several days, if not weeks like I did, for this to really show a, a response to the chemicals. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.